You're such a nerd, Double Dragon 912. Yep, and I'm proud to be a nerd. Video games are awesome! All right, ladies and gentlemen, what else can be said about the PS2, the greatest console ever made? Not going to hold you up, ladies and gentlemen, but today I want to do my top 10 favorite PS2 games of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number 10 on my list is Beautiful Joe 1 and 2. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Beautiful Joe 1 and 2 was both awesome games i had to lump them together because i like both of them about the same part one ladies and gentlemen i remember when it first came out it came out on gamecube and i went over to my homie mike's house and i saw him playing beautiful joe and i'm like man that's tight he says you know this is this is a gamecube exclusive I'm like oh man i'm gonna have to buy a gamecube then lo and behold maybe a few months later after i watched him play it uh they announced yes yeah, just coming to the ps2 also i was like yes and it's coming to the ps2 with an exclusive character you can play as Dante on there. That's off the chain. Well, to this day, that is an exclusive feature. Beautiful Joe came out on PS2, and on the PS2 version, you can play with Dante. You can play with Dante on uh, the GameCube version. That was pretty tight how they put that together. Capcom, I think these are former members of Platinum. Well, not former members. They used to be, they, they got they left Capcom and they're now called Platinum Games. The people that make Bayonetta, they used to be at Capcom, Clover Studios. I think that was them. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the conversation. But beautiful Joe. Awesome game. Kenshin and Go-Go, baby. And it's, a, it's really a live action beat up. The first we got to go through there and save Sulia, uh, your girlfriend, from uh, all this that's going on. Ain't going to spoil it. Then part two, you and Sulia got to go save the world for something else. It's tight, man. I like the whole combo aspect. Slow things down. Man, Capcom. Y'all need to bring beautiful Joe out of the dungeon. Y'all got him locked up down there. He ain't really made no games since the PS2 games. Uh, I think he's been on the Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3 games. Yeah, he's on there, but man, Beautiful Joe 1 and 2 always holds a special place in my heart. I love these games. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 2 on my list is Beautiful Joe 1 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number nine has to be Persona 3 FES. Wow, now, ladies and gentlemen, this game is actually getting a remake, and that's good, man. I might get it, but $70, I'll wait on it. But this is how I got introduced to the Persona series. Shout out to my homie Mike Spencer, he put me on Persona 3. Awesome game, he said. He see, he was, he was talking to me like, Senio, you love anime, you should go play this game. This is right up your alley. It's turn based and it's a big pill like playing an anime. Said, see, you would love this game. I said, all right. Now, I came into the Persona series a little late. I had already had my PS3 already. <laughs> that, that's the funny thing about it. I was into the PS3 cycle. And I saw it, you know, PS3 started giving out PlayStation 2 classics. And I saw it on the PlayStation store for $10. I said, eh, what the heck? I bought Persona 3. Man, I put 80. 
Oh, I put so many hours into that game. 80, close to 100 hours into that game. That game was off the chain. It's like literally playing an anime. If you didn't know, Persona 3 is about, the, you know, this high school student. Uh, they got to go into an extra hour into the night. And I ain't going to spoil too much of it, but it's an awesome game. You can get a girlfriend on there, do different jobs, and love me Persona 3. Persona 3 what got me into the Persona series. I got to get my homie Mike to shout out because it wasn't for him. I would never play it. Man, I put so many hours into that game, and whoa, I love this game. My only gripe with this game, ladies and gentlemen, is the ending. The ending sucks to me. I can't stand the ending of Persona 3. I wish uh, they would change up the ending, but they probably ain't. Probably going to have the same ending on the remake. That's why I, I wait on that remake. But man, other than that, Persona 3 will always hold a special place in my heart because it wasn't for Persona 3. I would have never gotten to the Persona series. This is my first time playing the Persona series, and... I always hold special play in my heart because it, you know, it was turn based. And if it was broke and they didn't try to fix it, they kept things simple. Love Persona 3. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number nine has to be Persona 3. Three enemies. They all seem agitated. The enemy is down! Now for chance! Let us strike while the iron's hot! I can't miss! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number eight, ladies and gentlemen, has to be Persona 4. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I played Persona 3, I did not think that they could improve so much. Because, see, in Persona 3, they had it where uh, you can only control the main character and all the other characters. You, you, they, you know, pretty much they did what they wanted to do. You just tell them what to do, but you couldn't really control them. Persona 4 fixed that. They stepped it up a notch. If it wasn't broke, they didn't try to fix it. They just added to it. And they made it where you can play with each character now. You know, you can control them. Actually, because on Persona 3, you couldn't. It did. It's like a step up from Persona 3. I give Atlas credit. The cast that make Persona, each Persona, they keep making it better and better and better. So Persona 4, uh, I never did play the golden of this. I, I got it. I need to play that. I heard that one's pretty good, too. But Persona 4, man, much of the same of Persona 3. You, you and the protagonist, you got to save the world. Uh, that one had, Persona 4 has an excellent ending. They had about three or four different endings you can get on Persona 4. That was so tight. Persona 3, you can have like two or three different, different endings, but each one of them sucked, in my opinion. But Persona 4 ending, they did it right. Uh, more of the same turn-based combat at its finest. You level up your personas, do the relationships, go with this girl, go with that girl, uh, work here, work there, and it's just tight, man. Just the Persona series. I, I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, if you got a PS4, now they got all the Personas out on all the systems, so go play Persona 3, go play Persona 4. I like 4 better than 3. You will not be disappointed. All my turn-based fans out there, they made this game for us. They didn't... I love this game. Like it better than three. I didn't think I they, I didn't think they could get get any better than three, but they got better. They, they improved on what they did with three and made four so awesome, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Love Persona Four. One of my favorite games on the PS2. But coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number eight has to be Persona Four. <laughs> I got the regular stuff. I just got in the in the zoom. Can you lift me up? Can you lift me up? Oh, he licked me. Oh, these are freaking shadows. How to keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Supporting part of middle like Teddy will remember the attacks you can use on him. Select analysis from the command menu to view known data on the enemy. 
Whatever you want to know more about the shadows, you do have now. They are one button also access a shortcut to access the analysis feature. Okay. Oh, God, let me see if I can remember. Uh, let me see. Let me try some some of this on. Shinagi! Persona! It is. He down. Take my golf club. Hmm. You feel so there at the end after the recent battle. You did it, you and I have creep songs up to level two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding this thing down. Now, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number seven has to be the King of Fighters 2000. Wow. Now, 99, ladies and gentlemen, the one before this was good. I played it on PS1, but PS2 brought out the double pack where you can play with KOF. 2000 KOF 2001. 2001 is okay, but 2000 is so much better. This looked like when they first bought out my boy K. I like K. And they started doing the Ness Saga. They went from the Roshi Saga to the Ness Saga. And this when it really popped off. And man, my boy Joe Higashi, he, all of them still on there. He had that screw up. Uh, what is it? Get it. Yeah, that was my, my favorite moves to do, man. That and uh, just KOF at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Art of Fighting Team. I think they got the Art of Fighting Team back right on this one. I think they got them a little bit better than what they used to. They used to do the Art of Fighting Team so wrong, y'all. Art of Fighting Team was like good in 95, then in 96, 97, 98, all that. They just gimped all their moves. And I think they got them back right in 99 and 2000. I think this is when they started giving them back their moves like they were supposed to. Uh, but 2000, man, I always hold Special place in my heart. I first got it on PS2. I think I went to a mall and picked those. And I said, man, that's KOF 2000, 2001. They put them both together on one comeback disc. And that was awesome, man. Love me some KOF 2000. One of my favorite fighting games of all time. I love King, King of the Fighters. Y'all know that. You've been watching my channel. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in number seven. I have to be the King of Fighters 2000. Moving right along. Moving right along. I'm CJ Fool, giving them duckets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number six had to be Grand F Auto San Andreas. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, out of all the Grand F Autos I played, I played, I started on three. Played three, I played four, played Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, GTA 5. And out of all of them, to, in my opinion, San, GTA San Andreas is the best deal. Like five, five is good too, but CGA, CGA, Grand F Auto San Andreas is still my favorite Grand F Auto of all time ladies love me some grand of all this way you had your boy cj pretty much in this story he came back from uh new york city liberty city they call it and he came home his folks killed and he got to pretty much take back the hood and it's awesome ladies and gentlemen it's awesome cj man was one of the most 
great characters because he, you know, all the other GTA characters before they couldn't swim. CJ could swim. He could get his hair cut. He can go and work out. He can do some of everything in this game. Living in there, CJ doing everything. Boy, I'm like CJ, fool, giving them duckets. And I put a lot of time in this man. And it was the first time you seen GTA where it was like huge. It was huge on Vice City and regular GTA 3, but this one was a huge set. And you could ride back and forth, Los Santos. And before uh, GTA 5 came out, this was the game, man. Now I was happy when Rockstar remastered them. I wasn't going to rebuy them, but I had to go ahead and rebuy them, ladies and gentlemen. That's because I love the game so much. I'm like, man, let me go and rebuy them. Even though I got the physical PS2 copies of I had to rebuy them on PS4. It was on sale for $30. Don't, Y'all don't get mad at me. <laughs> I like the GTAs, man. They're one of the best uh, series of all time. But GTA San Andreas, to this day, does not disappoint. You can go back and play it now. Go get it, y'all. It's on all the systems. It's on, they, I think it's even on the Switch. It's on the Switch, PS4, Xbox One. PC, go pick it up. I think they don't fix it. They pass it up enough where it's playable. So, yeah, I still like me some GTA. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number six had to be GTA San Andreas. I'm tired of you not listening to me, girl. And I'm tired of you acting like you own me. I can see who I want to see. You just ain't right. You seeing some cello motherfucker. Oh, what? A no good, narrow minded, hypocrite gangbanger telling me what is right and what is wrong? Let me guess, sweet. Sisless killing right, but a boyfriend from the South Side wrong? Some things ain't just meant to happen. I mean, what if y'all have kids? Leroy Hernandez? That don't sound His good, girl. His name ain't Hernandez. Well, Leroy Lopez is. Leroy Lopez either, you racist fuck. That ain't how moms raised us. Well, I ain't racist. I just know how they feel about you. And look at you. You dress like a hooker. Oh, and I guess you two would know what a hooker look like, huh? You say it like it's a bad thing. Shut, Shut up, up, Carl. Carl. I'm just trying to protect you. For what? So I can date one of your mindless friends? I don't think so. Don't say a word, Carl. Just follow your sister before you see another dead sibling. Then you know exactly what my problem is. She's meeting him at some cholo car club. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we wind this thing down. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number five has to be Rumble Racing. Wow. I know you're like, Rumble Racing? For real? Double Dragon Down to it? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Me and my brother, Twan, we used to play this a lot. And this was a fun game. It's just your top, typical racing game, arcade racer, but you can always jump over hills. And every time you jump over hills, you can do stunts in the mid there. Pop, 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 pop. And it's two player co op, split screen. Me and my brother, Twan, used to play this a lot. Wow, this is whew, great game. Just clean, fun, not too hard. Racing game, ladies and gentlemen. This was on PS2. We loved it. Love some rumble racing back in the day. Oh, man. I like this so much because I was looking over there in my thing. I'm like, man, I got to go rebuy this. So I found it pretty decent for a pretty decent price because them scalpers don't know too much about rumble racing. That's why I end up getting it for a decent amount. But yeah, man, this it ain't really graphically powerful and all this stuff. It's just a fun, clean racing game you want you a fun racing game where you can relax and ain't gotta do too much like on gta i uh, not gta but like on grand turismo is all sim racing all technical roman races where is that ladies and gentlemen it's just a clean fun racing game i don't know if it came out on any other console i know it came out on ps2 because i'm sitting up here holding ps2 copy in my hand i don't know if it came out on any other consoles i don't know y'all correct me down in the comment section but ladies and gentlemen coming in at number six has to be Rumble Racing. Speechless. Lap two. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding this thing down. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number four has to be Hard Hitter Tennis. Wow. Yeah, like, y'all probably never heard of this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this gets number four spot because I got a nostalgia reason. Because this is a game me and my mom used to play all the time. We used to play uh, a typical uh, tennis game, but it's so fun because me and my mom used to play against the computer. The computer, boy, they get hard on that. You start them off on level five, and these... All we did was play on different courts. And each time we played them, we up the level. More and more we used to beat them, we'll go to the next level, like level six, level seven, level eight. I think they top out at level eight or nine, but the computer boy will give you a run for your money, boy. You will get your money's worth out of this game. Love 15, love 30. He's he's hitting the ball quick. And the announce on there, he had me rolling. He had me rolling too, because he a good announcer. But man, this is a fun, clean tennis game. Couldn't get my mama to play too many games with me, but she did play this one with me. And we used to play hard hit of tennis. She picked it up. Let me tell y'all about this. She picked that game up at Toys Us for like five, four dollars because it was after the clearance sale. And she just picked the game up. She said, Senior, we we're gonna try this. Double Dragon 912, we're gonna start try this. And me and Mama picked it up and started playing, and man, we love this game. If you want you a good tennis game on the PS2, you still got a PS2 out there, try hard hit the tennis. I love it. And the music on there is awesome too. I can't slack on the music. The music off the chain on this game. So ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number four has to be hard hitter tennis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the top three. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number three has to be Capcom versus SNK2. Boy, I can't tell you how many hours I put in this game. Wow. Now, Capcom versus SNK2 is SNK and Capcom at their finest. I think there's close to 50 characters on this game. Got Shiba Ken, Ryu, Shinokuma, Evil, Mega Rugals on here. Uh, got all your SNK characters on here, even some Capcom characters. You got a rival school character in there. I forgot his name. You got some uh, different SNK characters. I ain't even think gonna be there. Homaru on there from Samurai Showdown. Uh, Sagat, he's on there from Street Fighter. It's like all your favorite characters messed up into one great fighting game. And ladies and gentlemen, each, in this fighting game, you can use different systems. You can use the Capcom system, the SNK system. Uh, normal SNK system, another SNK system. You can do P groove, uh, then you do another Capcom groove. All you got like six different grooves you can do with a three on three fighter. I'm telling you, when Capcom and SNK get together, they make magic, ladies and gentlemen. They make amazing stuff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hoping and praying that Capcom SNK can get back together and make a Capcom vs. SNK 3. I will buy it day one. But man, if you have not played this game, please check it out. It's on PlayStation 2. Uh, I think it came out on Xbox. OG Xbox. I gotta say OG Xbox. But they got the Xbox One. That was so stupid. Anyway, we've been getting it. Uh, it came out on GameCube and it came out on Dreamcast. If you got any of these consoles, pick it up, ladies and gentlemen. I would love for them to do a remaster of this. And just make a Capcom for SNK3, put it on modern day consoles. I will pick it up. I know a lot of my fine game fans will pick it up. But lately, Capcom and SNK have been real chummy lately. They've been talking a lot. So hopefully that'll happen. A Capcom for SNK3. 
Hopefully it happened soon. Hopefully in my lifetime and your lifetime. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number three has to be Capcom versus SNK2. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight! Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number two has to be Metal Gear Solid 2. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this game was like the, one of the most anticipated games ever. Just had beat Metal Gear Solid 1 on PlayStation 1, and, you know, they kept talking. Metal Gear Solid 2 is coming. Metal Gear Solid 2 is coming. And, man, this game, when it came out... <laughs> Hideo Kojima, I got to give him credit. He tricked everybody. <laughs> this ain't no spoiler or nothing. But you think you're going to be able to play with Snake the whole time. But they switched it halfway through the game. And you start playing without writing. And you end up playing with writing the second half of the game. And it pissed a lot of people off because the demo kept showing Snake. Kept playing with Snake, but then they, they threw him writing up in there. And threw a little hit, a little wrench into the system. But, but despite that, ladies and gentlemen, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a great game. It's Hideo Kojima at his finest. I love Metal Gear Solid series. Second, probably, Metal Gear Solid 2 is probably one of my favorite Metal Gear Solids, man. Sons of Liberty. And then it eventually came out on, you know, all the consoles. But you can definitely play Metal Gear Solid 2 now. Uh, I think they did a HD remaster. They about to do another HD remaster of it soon. I think it's going to come out pretty soon, a remake of it or something. I'll probably pick that up eventually. But, man, this Metal Gear Solid 2 on that ship. Stealth action at its finest. That's why I never, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I never got into the Splinter Cell games because I thought it was like a Metal Gear Solid ripoff. But people keep telling me I need to play the Splinter, Splinter Cell games. Never did sit down and play them. I need to one day see what they see what it's talking about. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number two have to be Metal Gear Solid Two. Snake. You want to save Snake? Snake, you of course know the saying, one for all, all for one? What is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers. The book, not the candy bar. Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. How is that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling, but you sure you got it right? Of course. And I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Yeah. I got the impulse and reinforcements. Yeah. Oh. 
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wind this thing down, and I'm on number one. Now, my number one favorite PS2 game of all time is Final Fantasy X. Wow. This is my story. First time I think I ever heard characters talk in the game. Got my boy Titus. Got your good Yuna, Riku. Um, who else you had in there? Uh, Oren, enough! <laughs> Boy, I had Oren so pumped up. You can max out your character so so big in this game. You can have them hidden. Once you break that hidden barrier, you have them hidden. Nine, 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 plus <laughs> 10,000, 12,000 hit points. Boy, I had Oren and Yuna and all and Titus, all them hitting hard, boy. <laughs> I put a lot of time in this game. 80 some plus, almost 100 hours I put into this game, man. Man, one of my favorite RPGs of all time, Final Fantasy X. It just did so much for the industry. When it first came out on PS2, you know, it was a PS2 exclusive. And then they re it back out on PS3 and all that. You can get it on everywhere now, but man, Final Fantasy X, great storyline. Uh, I didn't quite like the ending to it. It was kind of sad, but hey, you play X too, it makes up for it. And I like uh, Titus. Titus get joked on a lot. <laughs> so my my uh, my homie uh, Mike, he just joke on Titus because he look like Meg Ryan. <laughs> but hey, despite all that, I like Titus, man. Titus is a good leader. Him and Yuna they make a good couple together. I love Final Fantasy X, ladies and gentlemen. When I sat down and learned that Spear Grid system, I didn't know it at first. But once I sat down and learned it, man, you can make your characters. Whew. Like beast, you can make them like Super Saiyans, put it like that. <laughs> and it was worth every hour, man. I love Final Fantasy X. To this day, I still got my save that I praise Jesus. I can go back and play it, and I enjoy it. I'm probably going to do another playthrough with on it on uh, my PS4, because I got the PS4 copy, because I just want to see uh, the enhancements they made to it. But ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for my top 10 favorite PS2 games of all time. Leave comments below, ladies and gentlemen, your top 10 favorite PS2 games of all time. I would really like to know. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos on the way, like top 10s and all kinds of stuff. Double Dragon 912 signing out. Peace out. Farewell.